Hi there, I'm Jessica with Mrs. Mom Next Door. Welcome to this journal with me video. I have my Traveler's Notebook from Traveler's Notebook Company, and that's what I'll be using today to journal in. Um, I wanted to show you that I'm getting excited for my Hobonichi Techo cousin because this is the spring start edition. Okay, so I did start to set it up and I even used a monthly page for March, but it starts in April officially. So the weekly pages and the daily pages start in April and I'm really looking forward to it. This is my first cousin planner and I'm hoping I'll have more videos for you guys once that starts because I know it's been like a week maybe going on too. And huh, I mean, it's also been a very, very interesting time all around the world right now. So, <laughs> I've been kind of um, keeping to myself. I'll show you what I've been doing. Here's my art journal, all of A5 uh, art journal. I use it like an art journal. I do not consider myself to be an artist at all, but I enjoy it. I wanted to start drawing female faces. Here's my first ever attempt. I believe it was uh, the 20th of March that I drew that one and I just did one or two a day. I started with some markers and then I tried colored pencil and then I went to watercolor as well and I've been enjoying it, okay? I'm on a roll. I think number nine is where I stopped but I'm gonna keep going. I've been having fun. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope that I get better at it, more confident. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've just been um, in my spare time sitting down and doing a little bit of art. I definitely need to catch up on some journaling though. So here's my traveler's notebook set up. Um, and this is my first video in this traveler's notebook. So I have the clear sleeve and I do have some pictures from our recent Disneyland trip, October 2019. I decorated the inserts and the craft folder. In the folder, I mostly keep stickers, little diary stickers, and I also got a pack of official Traveler's Notebook Company stickers to decorate and set up with. I got a card from an art shop that I thought was cute and a little butterfly clip. On the back there, uh, from the sticker set, they had these uh, clear adhesive pockets, so I was showing you that. And the insert that came with the Traveler's Notebook is what I will be using today, and I wanted to start fresh. I also didn't want to pull the notebook out because the way I have everything rubber band, so I decided to pull these clips out in hopes that I could just play and journal right inside. So I'm bringing out my basic supplies, glue stick and a bone folder, and this is my inspiration to start me off with here. I received this beautiful piece of happy mail. It was a random act of kindness. There was no return address. I want to thank you so much, whoever you are, if you are watching. I appreciated this so much. I will be honest, I have been feeling the stress. And when I received your wonderful happy mail, it really uplifted my spirits. It made me so, so happy. And it was a great reminder to pass the act along. Um, I wish there was a return address so that I could properly thank you, but um, just know that I appreciate it. And the fact that you did not put a return address just shows how much this really was a genuine random act of kindness. And it was just so beautiful. So I uh, wanted to use brighter, fun colors today. So I'm going through my B6 Traveler's Notebook where I'm holding some random vintage papers, scrap papers to pull from. But that envelope had that beautiful, like, minty, well, it's not really mint, it's bright. It's very bright and colorful, like a aqua, a turquoise. I really wanted 
Ah, uh, yes, to play off that color. So I pull out that fun floral and I'm pulling uh, the top part of the envelope off because I really wanted the stamp and where the postage, um, the post office had stamped where in the United States this had been sent. So I know what state it came from. Plus there were these adorable animal stickers all over the envelope and they were just so cute. Uh, there's some kitty cats there with bunny ears. One has sunglasses on and they were just adorable. They gave me a giggle so I, I had to include them in as well. So I'm just arranging my scraps and deciding which ones I want to go where. And then I'm going to go ahead and place them in. Um, and I, I always keep my extra scraps. And what I actually have is a um, envelope from some junk mail. I'm using that to glue. So I get really, really messy when I glue. I like to get all around the edges so that uh, it, it really stays. And usually I will glue all around the edges, stick it down, and then take the bone folder and even spread that out to make sure that my paper stays because I'm I'm so paranoid that it's gonna peel up on me or something like that. Um, I thought that would you know be no fun if later I'm flipping through my memories and they're peeling up too easy. So I always think of music paper as being fun and cheerful. So I. Uh, showing you the little cute kitty cats there, dressed as bunnies. I decided to pull out my Tim Holtz Just Dress Ink in the vintage photo color. And I'm just daubing that all around the edges. I think it gives it a really neat dimension. So I just felt like doing that to that bottom piece there. And I'm sticking that on. And I have a pretty decent collection of Happy Planner sticker books. The ones that you could get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or on the Me and My Big Ideas website. By the way, I'm showing you I hold my scraps. I'm going to save that envelope. So I found this one in my collection called Homebody, which I thought was also perfect for what's going on right now and they had some great stickers in this book that I use in the spread one being this one that says kindness is free isn't that true it is free to do something kind most of the time um, but to somebody else it could feel like a million bucks so I I had to use that sticker um, and then I was adoring the other quotes in this book, so I'll try to read them. There is no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. Get a little better every day. Remain kind. Make today count. Be present. And let's stay home. So I thought those were all pretty fitting. I'm pulling this sticker out now that says, Home Sweet Home. I've also been learning to love my home, take care of it, do a little spring cleaning. <laughs> um, now that sticker was transparent, so it, it would have looked cute just placing it down as is, but I wanted to add more color, so I'm just doing a little like background of color with this Tombow brush marker and then placing the sticker over it, and I thought that was fun. Uh, because I wanted to doodle some houses. So I'm looking for a marker that I could doodle with. I grab out one of my Micron, Pigma Micron um, art pens, and I'm showing you Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. He makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, that's besides the point. <laughs> Um, I have the point five Micron, and this is my Journal with Purpose book by Helen Colebrook, and she's a YouTuber, and I love this book. I have a couple doodle books, but I really loved the houses, 
And if you want a good doodle book, I recommend you check this out. So I will try to link it down below. It is available on Amazon, um, especially if you are into bullet journaling. Her book really helps you get started with bullet journaling. Uh, so to draw and doodle, I wanted to get out my uh, writing board to have a, a firmer surface and I'm just kind of looking over at the doodles and eyeballing and some of them I kind of copy and some of them I'm getting inspiration from. Um, they're simple yet so cute. So I think I just draw out the first one at the top here and then I do a whole bottom row. I really wanted to show like just different houses kind of like everybody has a different house, different shape, different size, and no matter what you live in, we're all kind of stuck inside of it, right? And I have definitely learned to look for all the positive things, not the negative. I am just grateful that I have a roof over my head and um, it's wonderful to have a safe place to go to, a place for my family. Um, yes, so home sweet home it is. <laughs> and yeah, just uh, getting a little stir crazy, but it's also really great to slow down in this day and age when there's so much like digital you know um, I've been keeping in touch with my family a lot more making sure they're all doing well and um, it's been a really sweet time a real bittersweet time <laughs> if you know what I mean we're all a little maybe nervous. I know I am. My nerves, my anxiety has been flaring up. Um, there's been some not so great news, but at the same time, I'm handling it pretty well and realizing that this is a time to maybe go through this so that you can remember what's important in life. I don't want to sound like I'm preaching on anybody. <laughs> um, I didn't even want to talk about it, but it is what is going on currently. <laughs> um, and so it's very much a part of my life. My son is home. He's out of school. Um, they started spring break and then extended it for a total of three weeks and now they're talking about trying to find a way to finish school without going back so that they don't go back for the end of the year so we'll see how that that goes um, and my kid I mean he's old enough to understand what's going on uh, but he's an 11 year old boy he definitely is bored out of his mind the poor guy he doesn't really quite understand why we can't do the activities we typically do on the weekend or at least you know during the week go through the drive through and get a little ice cream or something like that and things are a little different right now buddy um, but I've been playing lightsabers with them. I found a stick I could use in the hallway and we limboed. <laughs> I taught him how to play speed. And uh, we've been doing some Yahtzee games as a family. So, um, And a lot of movies on Netflix and all the streaming networks so <laughs> a lot of family time it's been great though honestly I'm like I said I'm just trying to stay positive I think is the best medicine <sighs> all right so I'm coloring all the houses bright fun and cheerful and I really do like these brush uh, tip 
markers. I uh, used them for the faces when I used markers. I used them for the girls. I do have a neutral set. To be honest, I feel like I need like so much more variety for the faces, but I did my best. <laughs> um, but yeah, they worked well for like these simple doodles, and I love the colors. So that's what I used to color in my little houses there. And then moving on, going back to the homebody book, they had these big stickers. And I picked a quote for this week that I thought, well, was fitting. And this sticker had bright colors and a cute quote that says, It's okay to be happy with a calm life. I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to use that to write my quote in. I like that it has the lines because I desperately need them. <laughs> I'm pulling out one of my fountain pens. It's a cheapier one. It's by Pilot. It's an extra fine tip nib, but it, it does uh, the trick. I'm newer to fountain pens, so um, yeah, I'm just going to use it to write my quote in. I, I picked a quote that, I don't know, this just touched me when I read it and um, reflected how I felt and that way when I turn back to these pages I am hoping I get a real good sense for how I was feeling in this moment with everything going on um, with the lovely happy mail and just that act of kindness and remembering to spread kindness also you know home sweet home while we are you know homebound and learning to have gratitude and be thankful you know so the quote that I picked I zoomed in so hopefully that you could read it but I don't know if my handwriting's a little sloppy this time let me Go ahead and read it to you. It says, Bless our home as we come and go. Bless our home as our children grow. Bless our families as they gather in. Bless our home with love and protection. And I loved that. So I, I love to add some kind of positive quote during these journaling videos but I am going to try to leave some white space on the other side so that I could have some time to journal in private my own personal thoughts you know because I like to do that as well without having the pressure to write them here online so that way I get to share the fun part here with you all and then later I will come back and I will fill in my own personal thoughts. But I'm putting down some washi and then I'm going to another Happy Planner book. This one's called Farmhouse. It has similar uh, color scheme to the Homebound, a little bit more brighter. I found these adorable mason jars with flowers. I wanted the one that says choose joy because it's another good reminder to stay positive. That's what I'm trying to do when my mind starts swirling and getting stressed. I am trying to breathe and meditate. <laughs> Remember what's important. Remember that currently everything is okay. And I'm choosing joy. I really like the bright colors and the way everything pulled together. <laughs> I just love those kitty cat stickers. And oh man, the bright colors were so much fun. Let me know if you liked it uh, because I may do it again. That's my finished spread for the week. Yes, 
you'll have to tell me in the comments what you think. And I appreciate all of you guys. I hope you're safe, you're well. Uh, subscribe if you want to come back to see any of my future videos. I'd love to have you as one of my friends. So until then, bye-bye.